हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वी विल चेक टुडे सम अदर पॉपुलेशन बायोलॉजी फेनोमेना दैट इज जेनेटिक ड्रिफ्ट एंड आल्सो जेनेटिक बॉटलनेक्स एंड फाउंडर इफेक्ट सो फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द जेनेटिक ड्रिफ्ट सो हियर यू कैन सी द रैंडम चेंज इन एलिलिक फ्रीक्वेंसीज सिंपली एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ चांस फ्रॉम वन जेनरेशन टू नेक्स्ट इन ए फाइनाइट पॉपुलेशन सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट रिजल्ट ऑफ ए चांस so this is happened sorry this happened due to chance not selection selection is very non random thing but this is randomly happened so if you have watched my video of hardy winberg law so you know that the allelic frequency what hardy winberg states the allelic frequencies and the genotypic frequencies remain constant from one generation to the next so remember we have told that p plus q equal to 1 p square plus 2 pq plus q square equal to b1 so it will be hampered because there will be some changes that is that is happening randomly and remember one also th one another thing that is in a finite population now think in the hardy winberg principle we have understood that if a population has to be in that principle i mean hardy winberg law or equilibrium then the population must have to be very big very large because you know for a big or large population to change slightly of any allelic frequency is very difficult how we will see in the later so first of all uh we have to know some other facts that due to genetic drift an allele in a population an allele can be fixed or can be lost or in the middle so fixed means fixed means suppose one allele's frequency is p and p becomes 1 so the other q becomes zero so this is fixed and this is lost fixed means one and lost means zero and middle p and q will be in between zero and one as we see in hardy winberg law now now this genetic drift it can be of two types one bottleneck effect and other is sorry founders effect or sometimes it's called genetic bottleneck so let's see what is genetic bottleneck so genetic bottleneck is a population bottleneck is an evolutionary event when a population drastically reduces to a significantly smaller size over a short period of time so let's get it simpler let's say this is a population now it has so suppose this trait is present 1 2 3 4 5 how many 8 
and the red state trait present four correct now suppose this four this red traits is migrating migrating to a new place or population permanently suppose three of the red gone there so now in this population how many will be present or how many will be left so the eight blue is there but one red remains correct so let's take another time so in the first population there was eight some blue traits and four red traits and somehow the three migrated to a new population so now in the parental population it is called parental population there would be late only eight the same eight number of blue and one red now suppose in this population due to some mishap or anything this red got dead so now in this population this is happening through a long time not not a small time so in this population now only blue traits is present right the eight there is no red trait so this is called bottleneck effect that means if you are seeing a bottle so in the neck region there is less space that means less number of organisms or traits we are talking about so let's check the founder effect so founder effect is what founder effect when i mean occurs when a new population which i can call as new colony develops by few members that is the founder population of the original large population so founder population means the new population made by previous members sorry population so what is it like let's say in simpler way like suppose this is a population and now a part of population suppose this is the part of population is getting isolated now is got isolated and due to a long period of time it can long period of time being isolated from the mother population now what happens mutation can happen and some other evolutionary consequences also what we have stated in hadwinberg law that there should not be any evolutionary consequences like mutation selection emigration immigration but it can happen that mutation is happening so 
what happens that due to this the allylic frequencies remember p q etc change and due to this what happen genotypic frequency will also change and with the time it can create new species too because with the time there are so many mutations there will be selection and obviously this is immigration migration happen so what can happen with this population and this new population they can be reproduct reproductively reproductively isolated so here can speciation can happen so let's look from the first what is genetic drift genetic drift is happening by the result of chance in a small population so what is happening the allelic frequency and the genotypic frequencies are altered violating the hardy weinberg equilibrium so it can be of two types but before that the an allele can be fixed that is the frequency is one and allele can be lost that is that means the frequency is zero and it can be of two types bottleneck effect founders effect we have checked both the things like in genetic bottleneck what is happening so here you can see in a population the red traits are migrating some of the red traits are migrating from to another place and of and some of and some of the members are remaining here here you can see that one and due to some misup it if it gets dead then you can check only the blue ones and there will be the changes in the allelic frequencies so why bottleneck because in the neck region there is less space so we can say the less number of organisms can be defined or depicted as in the bottleneck region that's why it's getting maybe it can be you know uh, eliminated from the population too here we have seen uh, as an example that and what is found out effects so we have seen a part of the population or the mother population is isolated to another place now due to the mutation over, over the time of very large period very long time the frequencies allele frequencies are getting changed so the genotypic frequencies are also getting changed and with the time it can be reproductively isolated with that parental population or mother population what you can say so it can create species too so in this way speciation can also happen so remember one thing genetic drift is a result of chance there will be no non random thing like the selection selection you know selection has a direction but genetic drift is directionless selection can uh, check your survival your reproductive fitness or anything but genetic drift as i said has no direction so is guided by only chance and in a finite population hope it will be helpful to you for you to understand the genetic drift genetic bottleneck and founders effect thank you